Welcome back. I picked up this little sandblaster the other day for a small project that I'm working on. It works okay uh, for small stuff. Certainly not big production, that's for sure. And I ordered some media for it also, but it hasn't come yet. And it was kind of expensive. For eight pounds, I think it was 20 bucks. But I ordered some, and it hasn't come. So I wanted to use it, so I thought, I'll just use some play sand. Well, one of the things that you have to do with play sand is you've got to sift it to get it to the right uh, size that will go flow through here. And so I went out in my parts washer where I happen to have a good old-fashioned colander from the kitchen, and that's what I was using to sift. Well, that was taking a long time. So what I thought I'd do is make me a little sifter to sift this play sand to get it down to the size that is necessary to go into this thing. So that's what our project is here. I had some of this hardware cloth stuck away, and so we're going, and this is quarter inch, so it's probably a little too big, but I'm thinking maybe I'll double it. And then we're gonna, then I've got another, some aluminum screen here for a screen door. So we'll use that, I think that'll be about the right size for the secondary screen. And we're gonna put this in these buckets. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some rings to fit in here, because these buckets are tapered. And I'll make some rings to put in here so I can have one screen and then a second screen. And what should go out the bottom should be the right side to go through this bed. So let's get with it. The first thing we've got to do is we've got to cut a couple pieces of this. this stuff. Now I'm going to see if I, maybe if I just do it like that. We've got those pieces. Let's cut a piece of this stuff. There we go. Now, I've got an old piece of plywood here. A piece of scrap. Now we're going to measure and cut out two circles. So the inside diameter at the top is 11 and 3 eighths. So I'm going to make a circle that's 11 and a quarter, 5 and 5 eighths. So we'll tighten that down and we'll make us a circle here. Now we're going to make one that's got to go down a little bit further Make another one, ten and three quarters, five and three eighths. Now we're going to go over to the bandsaw, cut these out. Okay, we kind of got our two rough. We just kind of rough cut it. Now the blade on this that I've got on here right now is not the best. It got bent somewhere along the way, but we're gonna. It's going to suffice for this purpose. I don't want to change it right now. now I'm going to put a little bit of a bevel on here. That's going to help meet the taper of the bucket a little bit. It's not, I probably got more bevel on here than what the bucket has, but that'll be fine. So let's go ahead and cut these circles out. There. Let's go see how those. Do a little test fit. Put a screw in there in the center so I can test them. And if I drop that one down, it goes down and fits, as you can see, about halfway down. That's good. So that one works good. I don't think I'm even going to sand them much, if at all. And then this one fits a little closer to the top, and that'll work just fine. So now what we have to do is we've got to cut inside. Okay, we've got the inner circle cut out and I think I made a pretty good guess actually because this one which will be the smaller screen goes right down there fits oh it's probably about right there and it fits real nice and tight in there with that little bevel so I think that'll be good 
Okay, have my staple gun ready. So we'll go ahead and just put the first layer on, then I'll I'll uh, orient the other one so that it just cuts this quarter inch gap in half roughly. instead of a quarter inch mesh. Now we're going to go ahead and cut around that. There. Alright. That's going to be our first screen. Now we'll put this one on the secondary screen. Give it a test. Probably a good idea to have a mask on, that's for sure, to do much of this. Okay, not much got caught in that in this first screen, that's for sure. So I'm not sure that's gonna do any good at all. I think all I've got to do is just leave that, use that bottom one in there. I think that's going to work just fine. So now we're going to sift up this bag and we'll have all kinds of media to use. So let's get to it. I put a couple of screws in there so I can just reach down and grab this and then... Sure how you can tell that's that's some pretty fine stuff so I think that'll go through the through the gun all right anyway there's a solution for you if you're looking for a way to get some cheap media for your sandblaster or cheaper I should say without too awfully much trouble hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to comment subscribe hit the like button see you soon